What's up? This is Jackson Wen from China. I'm on Zach Shang Show.、Uh, based on what we talked about, you'll have to watch it, please. Let's do this. Why don't you join me? Do you really? Mean- you, yeah. Why not? <laughs> I feel like people are gonna want to see you by yourself up there. I, I want to、like、see ta- you. I'm gonna take away <laughs> from you. <laughs> also, Dan is wearing very short shorts, and I feel like if he gets comfortable on that、okay. couch, do you want to join? The world, no. Okay. And here, I'm gonna be honest with you. I would join, and maybe you can understand this. Uh, or, or not, but I think you can as an artist. And what we do here is like I'm just very meticulous, and that microphone just doesn't sound good for my voice. I sound the best right, right there,、okay. right here, right now, speaking. I got rejected. No, no, no. Do you feel lonely on the couch? A little by bit. yourself? Yes, a little bit. <laughs> well, Jack Swang, I'm always right here. I- I'm just, I'm just an arm's length away. Got it, got it. Okay, then. Come on. I get it. Don't make me feel better. <laughs> Yeah. Well, hello, hello, beautiful human. We got Dan here. Hey, but we welcome to the studio.、Jackson、Thank you very、Wen. much. Hey, Thank you very much. This is Jackson Wen from China. I'm very excited, very blessed to be here today. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Do you do you genuinely feel like you are blessed? Yes,、uh, especially just living every day and you know doing music, do, doing what I love every day, and have all the people you know support and showing love to me. Yes. Have you ever, you know, you sold out your your birthday party in like ninety eight seconds. Have you well, ever, yeah, like, which is wild, bro. I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm very blessed. You know, the, it's it's much love in China. For, yeah, and、I'm, that that's like the motivation for me. You know, just to go harder every time. It, it, that's what fuels it, is the fact that you know that there's so many people on the other side caring. Yes, and supporting whatever、uh, decision that I make. Have、yeah. you have you ever asked yourself why you? Um, that's why I said I'm blessed. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why I'm blessed. So first of, I'll tell you a little bit about myself, like story, my story. I、uh, I grew up. I'm I'm born and raised in China, Hong Kong, China, and.、Uh, From this sport family, my my dad used to be a former、uh, Olympian fencer. My mom mom's a gymnast. a gymnast, yes, and、uh, my brother is actually a rugby player in Australia. <laughs> and、um, so, growing up in this family, I started fencing when I was ten, and then twenty eleven, I was preparing myself for London Olympic Games, and then I was I had a scholarship offer from Stanford, and that was going well. And then, but I I still had this music dream. As a kid, that I want to perform, you know, I want to do my music. That's I started in Garage Band. If you know, you know Garage Band, like the video game. Yeah, no, no, the Garage Band, the the. the, 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 oh, the oh my、Mac. god, dude, the Mac <laughs> software, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, and then I just I just told myself, why why not just give it a shot? You know, then I gave everything up, went to Korea as a trainee in a K-pop entertainment company, and I started out there and. I debuted,、uh, finally debuted in twenty fourteen, as a in a K-pop group, Got Seven, and、um, after two years, and I'm back in China doing my solo music, doing my solo activities. Yeah, and till this point, at first I actually started out in Korea, to the public as a variety show character. That I, I did a lot of, I hosted、uh, a lot of shows. I went on like different reality TV programs. Did you do so, that before music or while after Got Seven? Got Seven is still going on. Got it. Like when I first debuted, people people recognized Jackson as like a funny com- funny character.、Uh, that that's in a lot of、uh, variety shows, and they they didn't know they didn't even know I do music. And then I, I just to a point where I thought, you know, the, the image that I have, it isn't. I didn't, I didn't go, I didn't, I didn't go to Korea. I, 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 I went to Korea because of music. I to that, that at that point I was just asking myself, like, is this what I really want? And then that's that's when I decided to, you know, I, I should stop. Maybe maybe stop for a while. Uh, to all the var- variety programs and and reality TV shows, maybe I should you know just give it a give it a break, and then I should sh- focus on my music side, and that's w- that's when I got back to、uh, 
China and start started everything. I made my own label called Team Wang. Yeah. And we started out with two two employees, including myself. I I got to take care of all, like all the got all the contracts and all the all the all the costs. Like I'm managing this company myself at first, and now we have like thirty employees, twenty five, thirty employees. So all these all this way on this path, the fans knew that I I'm capable of producing uh, doing music, not not the public. And now in in China, the public recognized. I got recognized. Oh, yo, he 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 he's a pretty uh, decent artist. So all, along this path, I'm just very blessed that they're with me since day one, do like you, through my hard times and yeah, highs and lows. Do you feel validated as an artist when they start recognizing your solo work? I feel well. F- first, first. I feel I feel blessed, and the second is like, oh, fi- finally, yeah. finally, I wasn't wrong. When you say you you, you weren't wrong, were, were you always telling yourself that you have another story to tell that's bigger than Got Seven, that's different than? I would say what what I'm showing as a solo artist, it's within Got Seven, and not like outside of Got Seven. Got it's it. just like a uh, like you can you can you can um analyze got seven as like seven different colors because we have seven members and i'm just let's say red i'm red you it's just it's just if when, when you listen to my songs or to, uh, listen to uh, see whatever activity that's as a solo artist jackson wang you get red mm-hmm. by the way very cool way to think about it and to really break it down because it, and I think that's one of the many things that makes a K-pop group very special is that there are very distinct colors, and everybody yes. really shines in every record that they put out because of how distinct and unique each each person's color is. It's really I've never thought of it that way. So, yeah. how does your creative process change between when, when you're working on GOT7 stuff and then when you're working a lot on of your, stuff? It's just basically, basically, I'm just doing everything myself. Like in terms of making the song, making the beat. Of course, I have like produce. Uh, produ- boy toy. Yes, boy. Oh, yeah. Um, teaming up with the whole Team Wan crew, uh, doing the doing the beat, doing the doing the writing lyrics, writing top line, uh, coming up with like the um, uh, what do you the treatment for music videos, the concept, and the war uh, the the outfit and just everything. And and after we're done with the product, um thinking thinking about the pro, uh, marketing and promo, promotion no a promotion strategy like everything i have to take care of it by myself so you dude your records are great and you write records on your own how, when you why do i do it no, no how does it start when you when you're writing a song just you yeah do you, are you in the room totally alone do you write down ideas and then bring it to somebody like what is the process really like uh, I don't, I don't, I don't treat this like a, like a, like a homework, you know, when I, it's not forced. Yeah. I would have forced myself to like, okay, today I'm going to sit down and write a, a bunch of songs and write lyrics. It's, it just comes naturally sometimes. So like it could be while I'm driving. So yeah, it's just, I get inspired. I, I, I would have forced myself. I wouldn't force myself and treat this like the whole, this whole music thing. It's art at the end of the day. You know, I won't, I wouldn't force it. Did you see it? As art from the very beginning of this yes. process? Yes. Art. Because it's really easy to, when you get caught up in it, to, to lose sight of the fact that it is art and it's a business, right? Because you've been on the journey for a little bit now. But right, it's always been art. It's always been art. I feel like sometimes when art is too commercial, people are not stupid. They, they can tell. Like it's forced or not. Or is it organic? Like yeah. I feel like I should just follow my heart and... And maybe sometimes it takes me like 30 minutes to write a song or sometimes it takes me three months. I wouldn't force it. If it, if it's, I, w- I would let it take its time. Yeah. Is that, is that a, I don't want to say learn, but like, I, I want to talk about oxygen though. Oxygen, like when you bring the ideas for this record to boy toy how do you guys collaborate because he's been a constant in your music from right. the beginning of your solo project he actually debuted that uh he actually he released his record 
I think two weeks ago, his first ever record oh, wow. as an artist. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, his his so it's Boy Toy as a producer. Yeah. But he's also AKA Gangnam Sonata. That Gangnam is, is like the, the the best place in Seoul. The it's it's like Beverly Hills in in in, in LA. <laughs> is it is it is it is it the best place? Beverly Hills? Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, rich people go there. One of the nicer okay, ones. What, what's the best place in LA? Uh, best town. Like, uh, I'm a West Hollywood guy. Sure, whatever, yes. You know? It's just West Hollywood Sonata. You know Sonata, the car? Yeah. Sonata? Yeah. Sonata. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Sonata. So, so it's, yeah, so it's Gangnam Sonata. Yeah. Like, that's his name. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, boy toy. Yeah. That must be pretty cool because this is a guy you've been working with a lot. You, you obviously trust him. and he, A lot. He he, so sometimes you. I feel like after writing all the treatment or, or, or even it, sometimes when, who, who you work with, it's not about how famous that person is in terms of like producer or director. It's not about that. Sometimes you have to, the best way for me is you have to find a person that, a director or a producer that really knows what you want to do. That can really execute it, execute it, uh, the way you want it, and not like a very like f fame does not really matter to me. And it's somebody who understands you, right? And, and gets to know you. And I mean, you have years working with him. Uh, Papillon, that was a record that came out in 2017. One of the lyrics, "Money and fame don't define me." What defines you today? I feel it's it's the vision of Team Wang. It's just always be hungry. And just do what you love, and 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 if you love something, you wouldn't feel you will be very naturally dedicated to it, and and very passionate to it, and you 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 would have this, you will want to be perfect at what you're doing if you really really love something. That's like the vision uh, to me right now. Has it been hard keeping that vision or keeping the definition of yourself pure? I think it's mostly it's just I'm living every single day doing what I love and I'm very satisfied. Like I'm very happy and blessed that I can live this life. It is an awesome life. You have the opportunity to write your story in these incredible records. Like another that's written by you and you collaborated with somebody on that one. There's a few producers on it, right? Right. Oh, what, what, which song? Another. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's actually not my song. It's uh, it's it's uh, you, another artist song, but, but I'm just a it. feature. Yeah, I like the visuals on it, the lyric video, and the record is great. You liked it, and yeah. I'm I'm actually uh, releasing my first ever um, global album uh, October. What, hold up, so define a global album to me. It's gonna be on every platform. Okay, available everywhere. Av available everywhere, and like there are some marketing plans in America too. So. I'm, yeah, Sound and there's out. this book of like all the photos, photos, fo fo photos of uh, that's related to this album, and the description uh, um, of every song, what it's what's it about, and everything. Well, it's, isn't it cool? No, I mean, no, no. I remember getting them. Like I remember getting the uh, an Eminem CD when I was younger, and you open it up and you look through, it and the lyrics are all in there. Isn't it cool? It's cool, but I mean, I guess people don't. Don't use it as much anymore. By the way, you have to, as somebody who is totally in charge of what they do and every aspect of it, you have to be aware of trends and you have to be aware of every facet of your business, really, right? Right, right. But my standard is like, if I if I think something is cool, I would do it. Like, if I would buy it. Yeah. Yeah. But I think this is cool, and please do not, do not let Dan sway the. Okay, fact I'm that gonna, gonna go gonna buy it. The art of a an so actual we have CD. one vote saying no I've, and we no. have one vote saying yes <laughs> and yes 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 yes, yes. 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 okay I I'm guess also, it is i'm voting yes too okay. <laughs> and i'm giving you like i'm gonna give you like 10 10 albums <laughs> please do just, uh, yeah and force you to listen i'll go out and buy it but yeah. so what's the di so this global release yeah is that all new music all new music yeah all new music eight songs okay and yeah a, lot, a couple of collaboration yeah. When it's pretty cool to be able to have a diary in the yeah. form of an actual physical exactly. record. Yeah. W when you look back at everything right now and you, you look at the 25 songs, like, I, I want to. What 
what part of this is the most special to you? Is it the fact that you get to write your story in music? Is it the fact that you get to design and create these elaborate and incredible freaking cases for people to buy and to treasure, right? Because that's what they become. I feel like it's to to all the fans. They they can actually see the growth of my first song released until until now. Like you, that the reason why some I, the reason why I write my own songs and and I produce all the all the all the content is because I could have just used like anybody else. You know, I could I could I could I, I could just tell like a producer, yo, can you write me this? I could tell a director, can you come up with some concept? Let's just make it dope. I could do this, but it doesn't feel like me. I feel like it's 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 not me. I'm wearing somebody's coat. You, 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 yeah, you get I, what I mean? Totally. It's not Jackson. So that's why I decided, you know, just do everything by myself. Is it a little wild to think about? Right. And I'm just going to say from the outside perspective, people look at K-pop, right? And people will say maybe manufactured. A lot of records that are kind of just handed to artists. What I'm witnessing in front of me is the complete and total opposite of that stereotype. I feel like... First of all, this I I don't know about this stereotype, and it's not true. It's just that mm, my my group, let's say let's say our group, Got Seven, we write our own songs and we we produce everything. Like I would say, ninety percent ourselves. And yeah, I, I I don't get I don't get like why is it why is it like manufactured? Why 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 are we talking about this uh, this this? Why is there this stereotype? I don't get it. I, where, where, tell me how you guys feel. I I, th I don't have it because I get to know artists right, right, like right, this. Right, and right. I, we've been interviewing K-pop artists for a very long time. And not very long. I mean, I interviewed the Wonder Girls back in like, dude, 2010. Oh, they're, they're, we're in the same company. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I think a lot of it has to do with how the world sees an idol, right? Right. And the idol is like... I, everybody has their own definition of idol, right, right, by the right, way. Right, right. But I think it's the maybe the general general publics right. of perfection, like this idea that perfection doesn't come from one's own thoughts, but they come from a factory almost. Do you get what I'm saying? Right, I get what you're saying. I think it's because they don't want to get deep down into it. Like you see a lot of K-pop groups releasing a bunch of songs. If you really want to get deep and and actually know every artist and their personality and and their visions, it's all different. Yeah, it's just because from the out from the outside, it's just oh a bunch of songs, yeah, and and it's I don't think it's a way to it's a good way to to judge it like that. But, but it goes back to what you're yeah. saying about colors, you know. Yeah, I'm telling you, in K-pop groups, and more than any group, in my opinion, the colors are super bold. Like mm -hmm. you feel the personalities in the records that put out, that, that are out there. Right. So, yeah. uh, how do you define an idol? An idol. To yeah. me, it's just um, respecting and loving the fandom and producing just good songs. Like if you're a singer, yeah. yeah. Just doing what you're doing, but respect the fans. Like very get deep down to the communication with them. Communication is the most important so part. So this, this is a thing that's different. Like, I feel like K-pop is very strong because we really, we really communicate with our fans. We really, I'm not saying that the other, the other artists, they don't care, but we really get really, really deep down into it. We, we have like fan signs yeah. and we have like a lot and a lot of fan events. Just, we meet them like, we, we usually meet them a lot. Yeah. I the community in, is real, and I think it's also expressed through the, the lyrics, too. Like, a lot yeah. of the lyrics, I mean, there's a diverse, you have a ton of different songs out there, but they're also very clear and very straight to the point. Do you get what I'm saying? We really love them. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's all. Well, what is your responsibility as an artist? What kind of responsibility? I mean, do you... Do you feel like you have a responsibility beyond music to connect with people? Or is music your, your main vessel to... I think it's just being me. Just being myself. And, and, and the, the person that I am. And in and, and Chinese, it's like... In, chi in Chinese, it's called 做人. 
it means being a good person. Yeah, that's that's just that's the standard. You know what? What was your question again? I forgot. No, I <laughs> I want to know what your your, your responsibility. Oh, you responsibility. feel like you have a responsibility as an artist. Be, but I think you really answered the question, right? So yeah. you're a good person. So that it doesn't matter what facet of life, whether it's music or uh, you're yourself. You said that too. So whether it's music or politics or social or funny stuff or TV, you're just going to be yourself no matter what it is. Yes, just myself. Yeah. Easier said than done, but you managed to do it because it could be scary. I'm to still be on my way. I'm still on my way. Uh, still working hard, and I I go full out. You know, uh, in 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 one year, I have six six months working uh, as a as a K-pop as a God Seven, and I have six months working on my solo stuff. So basically, what what I mean by that is I have to fit two year schedules into one year, and that's by doing that, you just gotta go nonstop. I didn't have a vacation for almost three years. Just had one last week, actually. What'd you do? The What'd first you do? ever. Yeah. <laughs> What'd, you, What'd yeah. you do? I I went. I took uh, all my team Wang crew to have a vacation in Hainan, like a, a city in in, in uh, China. Oh, sweet. Yeah, for like four days. Did you enjoy the time off, or you're like, okay, time to get back to work? I like it, but this is the thing. Whenever I'm like not working, I feel like. I'm very insecure. I feel like I can't, I can't breathe. Like everyone's working so hard. What am I doing? Like I can't. I get it. Yeah, you, you do you get that sometimes? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't like taking time off. Yeah, I feel like I I gotta be productive. I gotta be efficient. You know, I gotta put everything together. Like yeah, I always feel like time is. If time flies, mm-hmm. I could just be like chilling and 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 not work. And a blink of an eye, just two, 20 years pass. Yeah. Yeah. What is the most fulfilling part of this entire creative process for you? What kind of creative process? The whole thing. I mean, from business to creative, the whole music process. What right. part fulfills you the most? Uh, not. I wouldn't say the, out, uh, the outcome uh, matters a lot. So if I put out a record... If it did like if if it's if nobody actually liked it, then I would still be okay if if I actually worked hard on it. Do you get what I mean? One hundred percent. Right. If if the whole te- my ho- me and my whole team we really worked so hard on it, and the outcome is nobody really liked it and it, it did really bad, I'll still be okay with it. Like because we we did what we could and uh, we went full out. Yeah, you did the only best. the only thing that I cared the most is I didn't. I didn't go a hundred percent, maybe like ninety percent. Even though the, the 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 song blows up, I w- I will still kind of regret. Yeah, I will still kind of feel bad because I didn't I didn't go full out. Do you get that feeling? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you just want to be you, you want to be you want to be able to confirm that you don't, you gave it a hundred percent your all. Yes, I don't want to regret. Yeah. That's a, yeah. Where does that come from? Is it you? You seem like a competitive guy, but also like a guy who motivates himself and and pushes himself. It's it's, it's, uh, it's a corny thing to say, but I'm I'm saying like life is really too short. I I just feel that, and I I I I really want to you know make some make history like before I disappear in this world. What is history to you? What is making history? Um. I have five goals in life, actually five, five, six goals in life. The first one is is to get into the billboard, mm-hmm. and the second one is to be like a wax figure in 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 the wax figure museum, Madame Tussaud. Yeah, did yeah. you get one of them? Exactly. So it's uh, it's it's, it's checked. <laughs> yeah. So, so so yeah, and then one is like, um, I want to be able to perform in uh, the the. The stadium in China where they held uh, Beijing Olympics 28, 2008. The bird nest. Yeah, I want to yeah. be able perf- to perform there. And the last one is just I want my, my, my family and the whole team wearing crew to have like a happy life, like stable life. Yeah. And team wearing the, the label itself, I want 
just maybe in the future I'll, I'll retire and I'll, I'll 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 be I'll be in this company signing new artists, making 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 collaborations with art brands, making collaborations. It's just to do a bunch of crazy stuff. Like that's my life, actually, till this point. My goals. That's amazing. You you see them. You understand them. Yes, and also maybe the host of this show, <laughs> <laughs> if I can. Dude, what 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 is it? It just kind of hangs out there. It's it's not oh, this. It's not the mascot. It's not the mascot, right? <laughs> I mean, it, it can it be. Yeah. What, what do you think? Should it be? I don't know. What, what, it's just a. It's just a doll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it? Oh, oh, you're. Yeah, we have we have poop head, and then we have half baby, half dinosaur over there. Oh, it's just it's just random. Just random things. Okay. We, I call okay. them tchotchkes. Okay. <laughs> well, who who who's supposed to be here today? Uh, oh, nobody. No one. Oh no. Okay. Okay. It's supposed to be. It'll eventually be Dan's desk, like his. You know, he has yeah. a little perch. Dan, I remember this name forever because you said about the album. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you said something else. I was just kidding. <laughs> I, was just kidding. I mean, I may have said it, but it's not what <laughs> I meant. Yeah, I'm but just I, kidding. But I have a question. Yeah. You said you have six months you spend on the solo stuff, and then six months on the Got Seven stuff. Yeah. So when they rest, I go to the other side, it, and then when when the China team rest, I go, I go, I go to Korea. Is it hard doing the solo projects, having full control, then having to go back and join the group where you don't have all of it? Good side and bad side, I would say. Um, I'll say in God 7 because it's not really up to me. It's a discussion with the whole company and all with uh, the, the other members. We have to decide. So, so the process is not as, as short as you think. But, but whereas in, on the t in Team Wang, I decide everything. So what goes wrong, I'm responsible for it, right? It's all you. Yeah, it's all me. So where does your love of trap beats come? Because a lot of music is trap beats. So it's just, I, I like the music. I like the music and I, uh, yeah, th that pretty much sums up everything. I just like it. I, I love it. Is that going to be your yeah. sound going forward with this new, these new projects coming out? It's more pop. Oh, are yeah. you going to be singing? Melodic. Or? It's just like... Rap, sing, sing, rap, yeah, in the middle. All like, different yeah. languages? Mostly English. And I, I probably have one song that's Chinese, meant a Chinese. What is that feeling like? Because even though you are you, you're this huge deal, It there's still this, like, glamour that an American artist has, even though... You are literally a global superstar. And no, no, not yet. I mean, you're... You're getting there. You're on your way. Yeah, and I'll say, yeah, of course. Ten years later. <laughs> when Dan agrees with me. <laughs> In that moment. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about this Fendi collection? collaboration? Oh, my God. It's amazing. Yeah, the, um, the collaboration, the, the, it's, it's something that Fendi and Team Wang came up with. It came really natural. It was, we were just like eating in Europe one day, in in, uh, in the headquarter, and then, and then why don't we just do a collaboration? And then yeah, why not? And then that that kind of started the whole thing, and then I came up I came up with this idea because it's the first ever velvet collection from Fendi. Yeah. They never they never they've never done something with velvet yet, and I'm a big velvet fan and. Yeah, why not? We do this whole collection in velvet, and it'll be black, black velvet, and cause, cause Team Wang merchandise it's all in black. Black is your color. Yeah, it's my color, and white, black and white, and then that, and then the pattern on on on. I want to keep everything simple in terms of like the design. Mm -hmm. I feel like if it's too, too much and too many colors, I f I don't feel like people are gonna wear it every day. A hundred percent. Right, people people wear it, and then maybe the next day, people their friends would be like, "You're wearing that again," you know. So I I want to keep it like low key, yeah. like no simple, but with good quality, mm -hmm. velvet quality. Do you remember the first right. time you rubbed your own velvet? Because it's your own velvet, dude. You have your own type of velvet. Think about that. The first time when I touch velvet, yeah, your own velvet, the the, 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 the collection, Jackson Wang, yeah, capsule collection, it's smooth velvet. like butter. <laughs> it's smooth like butter. Yeah, it, it was crazy, and the pattern 
on it. I don't know how you call it, but is it, are you using that all over print with like all the Fs? It's like a mono. What's it called? Monochromatic. But you get it. Yeah, I know you're it's talking like about. It's like all over the the the, the jacket. Yeah, it's beautiful. But you, right, but you can't see it from a certain distance. It only looks but black get, from right, far away. right. Mm. And velvet looks really good under like different lights. Yeah, lighting, and so it just went crazy. And and I'm very blessed that it got sold out like in seconds. <laughs> Literally seconds, and you have your own fanny pack. Yes, I've become a fanny pack guy. So, do you guys like Fanny? Yeah. Fan? yeah. Dan, let me ask Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you a fan no, of Fendi? I, look, I like Fendi. Yeah. Okay. I also like how you described it because I wear all black and white, and I'm very low key. I don't like logos, so it sounds like right? something I would wear. If, if 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 would you wear a shirt that says like? Crazy print. Absolutely not. Not right. He would put it inside out and wear it. Whenever I, whenever somebody gives me a shirt that has a logo on, I flip it inside out and wear it, all black. Simple. Exactly. Yeah. So you can wear it every day and no one actually notice. He, you'd love his collection. It's beautiful. So when you send me your album, you can send me some of the Fendi products. I don't too. even have it. I only have one 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 piece of each one of each of item? each one. That's it. Only one piece. I I don't even have. And my parents don't even. They don't even have it. <laughs> they didn't even give me enough piece because it got it, it got sold out like pretty fast. Are we gonna restock? I think we're that's what we're talking about. Uh, we're thinking about doing the second collection, but I don't want it. The thing is, I I, I told them that I don't want to do clothing anymore. If it's gonna be the second collection with Jack, Jackson, like Team Wang and Fendi, it has to be something more crazy. It can't be. I don't want to do like jackets and like clothing. Well, right? I have a question about Fendi. What came first, the collaboration or the song, Fendi Man? Song came first, right? The first song came first, and the song actually came before I signed with Fendi. I was. I'm just a big Fendi fan. I feel See, like that's this weird manifestation thing. Yeah, it's just fate. Yeah, it's destiny. Sometimes I'm you, very blessed. You put it out there. Yeah. No, that's just I just didn't know because I know you had the song, so I was just wondering what came first. I'm very excited to show you like some of the songs on my album right now. I want to hear them, but I, you're gonna cut it out, right? Now. Yes. Are we just gonna have to cut the whole interview out? <laughs> <laughs> can we, well, can do, we, do we have hard dates on these these albums? End of October. And I'm releasing two singles. One end of September. It's called Bullet to the Heart. End of October. Uh, all the other songs come album in. yes album what is the significance of the word right it's just like it feel it feels right <laughs> no matter what i what what i do or in, in the song i get it yeah right okay we have a lot of records coming up yes and all of them are connected they tell the entire story from the beginning of your solo journey yes and actually i'll just say it you know what whoa the album concept is just eight different songs eight different feelings it's like eight different mirrors whoa as in like happy sad angry yes what are the other ones motivated uh, it's just pain but pain i break it i break it down let's break it down into like three different ways like mm. pain there are pain that you enjoy it but it's still painful their pain that is ju it just hurts, and they're like a, a, a bunch of different feelings in in this album, eight different feelings, yeah. Well, okay, so that's and then that's gonna be a part of the longer, the longer. That's gonna piece. be a part of the longer the journey to the west, like yes. full physical <laughs> album. Dan, <laughs> you're not ready. I'm you're not. not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm excited though. <laughs> yeah I am too <laughs> Are you working with RM at all? I see a lot of people want you and RM to work together So this let, let me let me talk about RM Him and I Go all the way back When I When we were all like When I was Actually we were We were trainees We were, I was a trainee in, in this company called JYP He's this trainee from Big Hit And then We, 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 we met in this Through a friend we met we, we met through a friend and then that's when you know and he's the same year same year with me year the dog <laughs> cool yeah we talk what, about that in asia but what are, is, you, are you the year of the dog i'm yeah, gonna google like, it and see what year i am so does that yeah. 
how does that connect you? How, wh- what commonalities do you share? I mean, outside of the fact that you guys, have, I'm have drive. like my personality is just I goof, I I goof off often, and I, and I'm I, I just <clears throat> I joke around, like you know I'm I'm more aggressive, and R M is he's he's pretty calm and he's very smart. And he, he he doesn't talk too much, but whatever he say, it's very, it just feels right, you know. And it just feels right. And and I don't know. He he's like the conclusion to me. So when I run into problems, I'll just be like, "Yo, I'm blah blah blah,", blah like for an hour, and then he'll tell me, he'll sum up everything <laughs> and give me like a good conclusion. You know what you should do? You should do this, this, this. And I'm like, RM. <laughs> I don't call him RM. I call him Namjoon. Uh, His Korean name is Namjoon. And I call him like Namjoona. Yeah. Is it wild to see the success of BTS? No, I, first of all, I would say they're really hardworking. Yeah. And he, RM is really, really hardworking. And he has a lot of pressure because he's like the leader of the group. And, and he's, since he, because of his personality, I feel like everything that he does or they do, BTS, it's, it just feels right. Yeah, it's just. I would say they're very, they're very talented, and they're very. They 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 think they think ahead, yeah. a step ahead, and and um, very good strategy and like on everything. It yeah. takes a very special person to be a leader of that group. Yes, it's very a lot of pressure for him. We've covered a lot here, my friend. Jackson Wang. From China. Hey. I appreciate you deeply, and I thank you for your time and your energy. Thank you very much. Hey, beautiful human, thanks for watching our full interview, but I get it. Like, a full interview is a lot, so we got a clips channel. We don't expect you to watch the full thing anymore, so we just gave you the highlights. Please, subscribe, and, uh notifications, and all that stuff. Okay, cool. I love you.